Now in this video, I've got a beat going on here. Let's play the beat. Let's play the give her top. Okay, so we got a beat going on here. One of these tracks from one of these um, expansion packs. And what I want to do is probably add some vocals to this while it's in the computer. This is kind of cool, you know? And so um, I want to go over to audio and create an audio track. Let's stop this. So before I can do anything, I want to go into settings, uh, which is actually preferences. So I get here to settings, which you see here is preferences. I want to make sure my voice can go through here in my computer. I have no microphone whatsoever. There's a microphone on the computer, and I use that to actually talk through so I can add this audio into this track. As you can see here, it's set input to MacBook Pro microphone. And over here we have the, um, what is this is here? This is the Telestream, which is going right into my system for my recording this video. And of course, I have my um, sample rate right here and I have the buffer size so the buffer size is very important what I do here with buffer size is that let's say for example I get to here's say 80 800 whatever I put an 800 now when I go back into the software let's close this for a second and I want to turn this on press record there or actually press uh, uh, right here's record and I come to here and, and I, I can, can hear, hear myself talk now in the system and I also have a headset on right so, so I want to go here Back into preferences, I'll press uh, command and the commas, and then we're right there. So it opens up this window, and then I want to hear it so I get no delay. Now, if I go way up to here, we'll say, there's a delay between when I'm saying it and when I hear it back. And the amount of that delay here is 100 or 1,504 samples. And that's, that's about 34.1 milliseconds of a delay. And I can, I can hear, hear it, it's just, just like ridiculous. ridiculous. But what, what you can do is you get, get down to here and, and you, you want, want to bring, bring it down to the smallest size possible. And now that's much better. So I'm increasingly using more of the CPU or actually less CPU here so I can get this delay going on. So when I'm actually using the MPC software and using plugins, I don't want that. I prefer to be at about uh, 512, which is right here, right? Or you can increase that too as well. So you can get to use more of the CPU power for your plugins when you're mixing. But when doing vocals, I don't want all that. I want it to be really fast and not have to worry about computing out delays and other stuff on a track. I just want to play it and add some vocal. So now at this point, I want to make sure I'm at 64, which is good. I can even go 32 actually. Let's go 32, 32. And sometimes when you get down to this point, you will hear some artifacts, some noises, like skipping, some problems with the audio, which you might be hearing right now, which I hear. So I want to go back to 64. You want to get it to a point where you don't have those artifacts, those noises getting into the system. So next, I like that. I want to come here. So now I'm in audio track. So that's audio track right there. And this is my audio track. I've got some effects. I can add a doubler here. Doubling me up. Cool. How about a reverb? Not a delay. 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 So that's pretty cool. I'll turn this off though. And what I want to do now is record it. But I'll notice something here that you can check out. I have to press this button on. If I don't, then I go back to here. We hear nothing at all. So we got to make sure that button's pressed. And this is my record button for this track. So I want to go back to here and go on. That's off. See, it's off. This is on. That's in. This is auto. That means I can record. And when I play it back, I hear the music and the audio but when i'm not playing it back we hear my voice going through this section okay this is pretty cool so now i want to record let's get up here and uh i want to move my playback head to the beginning so i start like this that head moves there right so but i want to make sure it's back here so i come to here this is the reason why i leave this q link open i can see the screen commands right there so this is cool so i'm on the screen so I'm going to make sure I can move the playback head or 
widen this up or bring it down for the vocal size. And now I want to record, so I'll press record here. Before I start recording, I want to come to here to tools, look at my metronome, make sure I have a count in, and the count in is on record, not playback. Okay, so now I'm ready. Let's look up here. Red. I'll press play. So now I can hear myself recording to the beat. Sounds good. I may want to adjust it a little bit so I can come down to here a little bit more and say like, okay, that's kind of cool. I'm feeling that. And the beat's going along. I can add this, but it won't record. I can add this and it won't record. But we hear it as an insert. Stop. Now, see that? Still playing right there. So what I want to do next is play this back. Let's go from the top here. Um, start from the top. So now I can hear myself recording to the beat. Sounds good. So now I can hear myself recording to the beat. And you can hear that. Sounds good. Sounds pretty good. I may want to adjust it a little bit so I can come down to here a little bit more and say like, okay, that's kind of cool. I'm feeling that. And the beat's going along. I can add this, but it won't record. I can add this, and it won't record. But we hear it as an insert. That's an insert that we hear that you don't hear going through the system. Let me turn this off here. Good. And so this makes it easier for us to record. Now, why do I do this? This is so cool. You get a singer coming over. Suppose you know this girl. She wants to bring, you want to bring her over to the crib, have her sing. You know what I mean? Maybe if you want to meet her, I have no idea. But it's a great way to record a track that or a rapper comes over, you're rapping. You can rap on top of the beat. Obviously, it's clear as hell as you can hear right there. You're not using a microphone. I'm just using a really good computer for one thing. And it just sounds great to get some demo, some idea what's going on. You can practice your vocals. You can do whatever you want to do but if you do bring a girl over and you're gonna hang out with her make sure you brush your teeth put some mints in you never know because it might just go your way check this out it's pretty cool to use at home and this is a way not sampling but actually recording audio and then we'll do more with this in our next lesson